All right, so I'm going to show you how to open up an HP Omen laptop model 15-CE018DX. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, once you remove those screws, um, these two will actually stay. Like they have a thing that holds the screw in place, so don't worry about removing them. Um, then once you do that, you want to like just pry around the edges. So I found, let's see here. Let's see if I can show you this. But basically this will all be clipped in place. Um, it's kind of difficult to do this with one hand, but basically I started like here. You can kind of grab the lip. And then, sorry, let's see here. So if you can grab the lip, then you can start with this. And then you just slide your fingernail all the way around the top. And then you just go around. So it just pops out. There's like clips. You just go around. I already popped it out, but um, so it's easier to do with one hand. But here you go. So the bottom of the cover will look like this. Okay. Just like that. Then you can see the hard drive's right here. Um, to remove this, there's this little black piece. You just flip it up, and then once you flip that up, you can pull this blue part. You got to kind of pull it up while you kind of wiggle it and pull it back. All right, after that, you can use your fingernail or pry tool and kind of grab the corner of the black piece, and you can lift it up just like this. Okay, that's how you remove the hard drive. All right, then you can see here the SD card um, slot is on a separate um, separate board. You can replace it if it's broken. Um, there's the speakers held in with some screws. The wire goes all the way to the other speaker and then it plugs in right here. There's a slot for an M.2. Uh, it doesn't say here if it's if it supports NVMe, but it's a gaming laptop so I'm assuming it's going to support um, PCIe NVMe SSDs as well as the SATA ones. Um, the battery, it has four screws here. Once you remove those, you just kind of lift at an angle like the hard drive, and it'll come out. Um, then you got the wireless card to remove the antennas. Just make sure get as close to the back of the tail as possible, and then kind of lift it at an angle up like that. Don't pry from the front or you can damage it. And then to put it back, you just line it up and push it down. Um, there's the screw. It, when you take the screw out, it'll go up at an angle. Um, it should spring up on its own and then you just pull it out then you got the connector here for I believe oh there's the DC jack connector all right is this another oh no this is just bracket then you got this USB um, USB board with the hard drive LED um, so that's also on a separate thing if you wanted to disconnect it from the board you have to take the board out, but you can disconnect it from this side, so as long as you don't damage the cable, you can easily take that out. The CPU and GPU are soldered to the board, so you can't really upgrade it. But um, yeah, if you take the heatsink off, you're going to want to um, redo the thermal paste and possibly replace the pads if you get them all dirty. Um, so this, the fans... Um, I have a separate video for cleaning them, so if you want, you can look for that video. Um, and then, anything else? I think that's it. Um, yeah, it looks like the rest of these connectors are all part of the main board. I think it goes underneath the fan or something. Yep, so those you can't replace. I think this you can't replace separately if something happens to it. You basically might have to replace those. And then I think that's the power buttons under there is on a separate board. So you can replace that as well. And then the LCD connectors right here and the RAM. So the RAM. Let's see here. So here's the RAM. 8 gig PC4, so DDR4, 2400T. All right. So that's the type of RAM you'll need. If you're going to replace it, you can increase the um, capacity. But um, usually it's better to have the same capacity in both slots. So try and avoid doing like a 16.8 or it'll be a little bit slower. Um, and then the hard drive, uh, you can upgrade this with an SSD. I also have a video of that. Um, so 
since there's also an M.2 slot, you can actually leave the hard drive and then you can put the SSD here. So you don't need an adapter or anything like in my video. You can actually put an M.2 SSD and clone this directly to there. And then just make sure you're booting off the SSD and then wipe this. You can wipe this out. Alright, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, these are customers' computers and I return them. Um, usually after I fix them within a day or so. So if you have any questions, if you can get them in like right away, then I can maybe get back to you. Um, if not, I'll just do my best. And if this video helped you, please like and subscribe because it'll really help me out. And thanks for watching. Bye.